not just one phone, but two phones that I receive in the mail. Well, hello everybody, Corey Express you here on TikTok and YouTube. Before I begin on these couple phones that I mentioned earlier, please make sure to hit that follow button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never know what I'm doing on both platforms. So without further ado, let's get started. Not just one phone, but two phones that came in the mail. I bought these on eBay not too long ago. And I'm trying to not get scammed on eBay like I did last time with the uh, lock to owner. I'm a little bit afraid of seeing these phones are going to be locked or not locked. But I will give you guys information on that after this video. And hopefully I do because I have the program to do the uh, investigation on the IME I number and stuff like that. But I bought... Two iPhone 14s, one 28 gigabyte, and hopefully uh, one phone works and the other phone is not. Um, one phone is $270 and the other one was $190. Yes, it's a lot of money just to, for a used phone. I don't have a brand new phone because <laughs> the new phones are $1,000 to $2,000 if you buy a brand new uh, in the Apple store, that is. So, yeah, I'm a little surprised that I bought uh, two used phones from eBay, and I'm crossing my fingers that these two phones work. I'm going to show you guys uh, which one was the expensive one. This one was $190. This one was $270. I can't wait to open up these phones so you guys will see um, what's going on because I'm a little bit scared that uh, I might get scammed again. Just like the video that, that you guys seen me open up a iPhone 13 that, that was locked to owner. If you did not see that, please do so. Uh, check my YouTube channel out because it's on there. It's not on, on TikTok, unfortunately. Uh, maybe it is on TikTok. I don't know. But you guys will check that out for yourself because I was a little bit surprised that I opened up and it was locked to owner. But anyway, you guys, I am going to open up these phones and hopefully you guys will enjoy me in my reaction towards, you know, these two packets that I received in the mail from eBay, of course. So here we go. All right, so I am gonna open up this one first. I'll say that one to last. Is this going to be a good iPhone or is it a bad iPhone? I'm not revealing my address, by the way. You guys trying to find me. Okay. Looks okay, but it's, you know, wrapped up. Um, hopefully, I can be able to see what's going on with this phone. I'm just tearing it up. It has a number of 090 on the back of it. Oh, yeah. The one, so clean back glass, and it says 090 on the Y. But the front, oh boy. I hope I can be able to see something on the program to see if it's locked or not. Let's see if it powers it on. And I'm not getting anything. Probably dead. But it looks, the back is fine. I just have to repair the front. Is it locked? I don't know. I got to check and see. Next phone to open up is the, um, the one that's, you know, brown in the Amazon bag or Amazon package. Um, I do know that this one I have to look at. All right. 
I just tear that open. Oh, the fine packaging, whatever. You can clearly see the fine package there. Is this worth the two hundred and sixty dollars? That one was probably more than two. No, I think it was like one ninety. But I might check my uh, eBay in a set here. Um, speaking of that. I'm going to go to eBay and then go to one of my purchases. Yeah, so the one I opened up was $250 plus tax be $270. And then $154 for that damaged iPhone, which has come up to $170. This is what it looks like. The uh, $270 phone looks like $270. Is it well worth it? I'm gonna open up so you guys can see. Really well packaged, by the way. Not that way. So it doesn't came came with the uh, the accessories, unfortunately, like always. Uh, the screen looks fantastic, but the back is severely cracked. You guys probably can't see it, but I probably can shine the light for you. But fine front, uh, the back is just severely cracked. Maybe if I shine, uh, shine a light, I can't speak today. <laughs> if I shine a light, you guys probably will see the uh, difference. Let me get my flashlight on my other iPhone. You can't barely see it, but that is severely cracked right there. This is, this blue one is not cracked, but the front, you can think again. Look at that. I'm going to power on the not severe phone and see how that is, is uh, if it's going to show anything on the display. On that 14. They're both 14s. I'm praying if it's dead, then I have to charge it. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think there's no life. Maybe it's just dead. Wait, I'm gonna wait for a minute. Oh, it does power on. Um, I am going to show you guys in a sec here if it's power on because uh, I can't bring the cord to the camera. So give me a sec. Alrighty, so unfortunately this phone is boot looping. I don't know if I can be able to, you guys will see that, but I think it's just boot looping because it hasn't been updated. Um, if I can bring my cord, I can be able to show you guys the boot looping. I hate I hate this when it happens. Yeah, every time when a phone boot loops, that means it's not even not working or it could be something. Um <laughs> I'm trying to connect to the uh something here so I can be able to power this up. Wonder where where can I plug this phone in? Um I do have a cord. Okay, hopefully this works. I'm plug my fan here on the side. And I'm gonna show you guys the boot whooping phone. Overall, it's great, by the way. The like, screen looks awesome. See what I mean? Watch, it's gonna boot whoop. So you guys will see that. Doesn't have the software. It's just, just going to keep on boot looping to the Apple. I, like I said before, I do have a 
program that might be able to handle the boot looping, but hopefully it's a, um, a guarantee fix. If it's not, then I have a busted phone. I might have to take it to Apple, unfortunately. Or since, since I have you guys here, my previous 14 phone that I had with with the uh, bluey background case it's uh busted the, the screen is busted because it went green screen to death death on me and i'm trying to pull out all my busted phones here give me a second or two so as i'm pulling my other 14 out of the uh phone the the repair phone kit or or the phone of death box <laughs> i pull out my 14 that i use always with the bluey case but unfortunately the screen went green on me during babscon of 2024 and i was sad oh wait we got a sign of the screen <laughs> so again the other the 14 i show you guys here Green screen of death. I have to fix it. I'm praying if this phone does not have a iCloud associate, then um, it'd be all good. Please, 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 please. Oh no. Oh no, it's not. That's not good. Looks like the touch is not working. Oh, here we go. It wasn't it responsive at the time being? <laughs> it just went bye bye. I might have to let it charge for a little bit, and uh, I'll just guys, I'll let you guys know right after this. Uh. This uh, little video, so you guys will see. But overall, I'm gonna let you guys know in the next video if I do get the phones operational. Uh, fortunately, my phone is in no longer working because of the screen, but it does work. But I'm going to update you guys as soon as I get these phones working. If I can't get the screen repaired, uh, if I can't get the screen to turn on, even though it's severely cracked. I have to take it to a repair shop. This, however, is boot looping and, of course, doing its own thing. But I'll let you guys know in the next video and see how it is. If it's locked to owner, I'm going to be really upset. And hopefully the other phone is not locked to owner, too, because I'm devastated. So, But anyway, Core Express 2, thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never know what I'm doing on both platforms. Until then, I will see you guys next time.